I'd like today to speak on a very somber subject. I do not claim to have any special insight, but rather in my search of the scriptures, this is what I kind of believe that is the subject of great mysteries. I've entitled the video Beyond the Grave and Into Eternity. What lies beyond the grave has remained a mystery from the beginning of time. Apart from the evidence which we learn from Holy Scripture, that mystery would still be hidden in the archives of the past. The resurrection of our Lord and Savior stands alone as the only credible evidence there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Uh, he alone went through the, the, the deep valley of death and arose in triumphant glory and gives us hope beyond the grave. There is both a dark side of afterlife, after death, as well as a bright side, uh, side of eternity in heaven. But gone are the days when the full gospel story rang out from the pulpits of America. The lacks of the early Methodist circuit writers are now few and far between. I don't single these great heroes of the faith as the only ones, but they stand out in my mind as uh, who, who formed the, the underlying principles upon which our America stands today. So they proclaimed the certainty of a time is coming of retribution for neglecting so great a salvation. In the book of Luke, chapter 16, we find the words of a certain rich man was quoted by Christ, giving us a clue to what will happen after death. The spirit world indeed is a subject con containing volumes of great mysteries. When we enter the realm of the spiritual sphere, our spirit leaves the body and lives on into eternity. The body returns to dust, but the spirit and memories never perish. They are not subject to a fiery annihilation. What could be more tormenting than uh, the, the mental torture of a burning body? Hell is indeed a place of eternal torment. Now there are those who claim that the Old Testament scriptures do not substantiate the doctrine of an unending torment. Little do the higher critics know that the entire Old Testament is a book of judgment and wrath to come. Then I would have to ask, how do they not see the judgment uh, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 23? And let me read uh, uh, from, from Isaiah. Give me just a second that I find it. It reads as thus, And it shall come to pass that from one moon to another and from one Sabbath to another and shall all flesh come to worship before me. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worms shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be an abhorring to all flesh. And friends, what could be more plain than we read from the book of Isaiah of what uh, awaits those who, uh, who, who in a, in a, according to their stubborn will, refuse to repent uh, of their undoing uh, disobedience to the word of God. Now, uh, and also we learn from uh, the book of Daniel, verse, uh, chapter 12, verse 2. Let me read these words. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. 
what could be clearer from the words of the great prophet of Daniel who viewed uh, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, coming world kingdoms and uh, how do they how do they not uh, reconcile this also with Isaiah chapter 66 now we can clearly see why America uh, has been influenced by the Judeo-Christian ethics. So friends, don't be ashamed to admit that, that as we ally our, our, our scripture, the New Testament with the Old Testament, it coincides with one subject, and that is the love of God that was shed abroad by the sins of the whole world. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever we reap, we shall face not. Friends, pass the message on, but remember, it must be preached with love and fear. Thank you for listening today. God bless each one.